Hello oh, everyone, Lord A. John here with another Grey Goo replay. Spawn the bright side as the human player, we have Trash Loser. Spawn the top side as the beta player, we have Benny P. I think so. And. Yeah. Nothing too interesting just yet, but we do have a bit of a stalker coming out. Whether it be for harassment or for scouting, does get a couple pokes on the refinery, dealing grand total of four damage. Nothing too serious, getting some more hits on the extractor, trying to hit the collector, but he doesn't have enough firepower to take out the collector. Don't see any tech upgrades just yet because it's a bit too early in the game. We do have a uh, three uh, factory opener for the human player, and uh, it looks like two factory open. Oh no, one factory two refinery opener for the beta player. Looks like the scouting commando just uh, came in. Yeah, that is a scouting commando. Oh, we do have a third refinery over here. Bit of a sneaky refinery. This stalker is being focused down, and if this stalker will go down, if he might. Yeah, he does manage to take out a trident, and the trident will win out versus the commando. Got two more war factories coming out. Yeah, nothing too crazy just yet. Only one of the factories are building. Looks like he is getting another refinery out, having up to four uh, refineries versus a three for the beater player. He could uh, send over another unit, build a refinery here, or refine from this location if he sh chooses desire. But that'd be pretty expensive if it gets a uh, hit. Looks like he's sending out a. Uh, Putting the extractor out here in this nice, rich 13 catalyst field. I think that's he's on a 13 catalyst point, but honestly, it sort of looks like 10 right now. I can't really tell because I didn't actually place it down myself, but still, it looks like 10 right now, not the 13. Do you got a hangar? It looks like we're going to see some aircraft. It looks like it's on a small hub. So it looks like going to be some warbirds, I would imagine. No f bomber craft. Just yet, anyways. Two more factories. Oh, three more factories are coming down. So it's going to be six factories. This uh, beta player probably should build. S well, he is getting the hangar. So he should start. He needs to start building those warbirds now. Oh wait, he's, he's getting air. He is getting air upgrade. Uh, Stratus. Oh, looks like explosive Stratus beacons. Uh, he is also getting some warbirds now. Those uh, Stratus beacons will explode and deal 100 damage, if I remember correctly. So if you place a uh, Stratus beacon on top of a revolver, when it expires. The revolver and any nearby uh, low health units will die, or and any higher health units will just take some damage. Pretty uh, handy upgrade for your scout. More, uh, it looks like it's going to go for some heavy fighter craft play. This is interesting. You don't see this too often. He probably should build an entire wall segment here just to uh, hold the tide of human units. So actually, perhaps maybe. I'm not exactly sure. That's actually quite expensive to build walls this early. We do have this uh, human player decides now to start to attack. Will these war? Yeah, there is one war bird up. He does get one of the uh, tridents. Do not they do not have any splash damage, but they can fire while moving. 
all of his ground forces just got cleared up. It looks like he's going ahead of. There's also a refining location just now being set up. He needs to save this. This is a very big boss if he loses it. He has one warbird out. Only one. There's only. It is a refining location will go down. The small hub's down. He should just. Should, he should just sell off the refinery. He sells off the refinery and gets a. Uh, his a. Uh, Hope some uh, money back at least. Do we see any longboats on the way? Tank. We do have an air attachment. We are. We don't see any longboats just yet. Stealth attachment. So maybe it's going to get some daggers. Needs these warbirds built up now. Do they warbirds have any weapon penetration? No, it does not. Nice high ground uh, engagement. Like he's just getting some free damage, actually taking down one of the units, even the Gladys. Warbirds now firing off their shots. And you just lost too many units because they were just too close to the high ground. Got some more factories, got another small hub. Still no longbows along on the way. There is a dagger, but that's nothing too important. Oh, we do have some science. Looks like we're going to see some fighter craft wars. Some dog fights. That's actually the proper term. No, that does not mean dogs attacking other dogs. Dog fights is literally air to air combat. Two warbirds. Yes, make sure these warbirds don't stack up when fighting scythes. Scythes do have splash damage. But the warbirds do have a higher DPS per single target. Do you got some AA batteries up? One of these warbirds do go down. The other one just f f hovering there and does go down. That was a bit of a miss. Uh, he should have been paying attention more of what his warbirds doing when going to a base. He is going to hit this uh, extractor, which is a very good idea to help deny that economy. Looks like three scythes are now up. The scythes going to make their first bo uh, strafing around a bombing run. What do you call it for a fighter craft? It's basically bombing them, but. Is it considered a strafing run? Either way, they're now buying the damage. This, uh, all these uh, st stalkers are going to go down, but they actually took quite a bit of a force along with them. Tractors gain additional armor, repair over time while not suffering any damage. Interesting upgrade to go for. That's a very interesting upgrade. Is he really afraid that his extractors are going to be a hit? Something to note, it does have 3 armor and 750 health, and apparently this is supposed to give them additional armor and repair over time, so this armor will probably be bumped up to 6, I would imagine. Got a warbird applying some damage, a scythe coming in to engage. Perhaps uh, both sides should start researching in uh, air pad repairs, but I do think that's actually uh, where the explosive beacon upgrade is. It could be economic tech. But it's probably where the explosive beacon was, so that was actually a bit of a problem for him. <sighs> Sorry about that. Getting a bit tired right now. The warbirds uh, on hunting mood. He's keeping them nice and spread out so they don't get splashed down. But they're sort of lined up this moment. But they're just both firing off the blast bombs and heading back home. Predators value. Okay, looks at like predators uh, fire shots individually instead of uh, volleys, which does make them sustain DPS much better. 
but their burst DPS is not very good. Sides coming in, they do manage to pick up one of the Warbirds. Warbirds coming in for counterattack. He needs to make sure they're spread out, or else they will do a lot, take a lot of splash damage. They're clumped up a little bit too much. He disengages before attacking. He could go ahead and start attacking these units. No, their sights, they got massive amount of splash damage. Four of them were splashed down, the last one was focused down. That's all the aircraft for the beta player. He probably should get some cloud bursts now. So off one, he's going straight for the uh, Stratus now. Yeah, he's decided not to go. He is going to get, like I said before, sell off on the hangers and put a factory there to get some cloud burst. He's going to go with the since he got the Stratus tech. He's going to use the Stratus tech. Just have a, like a hit team of Stratus, put a bunch of bombs on this well it's beacons on this group, and just wait, and they explode. I'm not so sure what's the actual duration of them. And now these sites doing massive amount of damage. Just picking off units after units. With little uh, chances of retaliation at this point. This large force is going to come in right in the middle, like in between the his forces. And he doesn't really have much of a unit to actually counter this. He does have one uh, Hellstorm, but that's not enough. And this uh, Stratus needs to play down its beacon. He does play down beacon on a uh, on a uh, trident, but I'm not. How long does a beacon last? I'm not exactly sure. I think like 60 seconds. It takes quite a bit of time before it actually explodes. We do got Fightercraft coming in. They should focus on the Hailstorm. They do. And this is, looks like it's the end of the replay. Holy crap, look at that Stratus Beacon. <laughs> that Stratus Beacon did that much damage. But it takes about like 60 seconds for it to expire, so it is a very delayed bomb. As you can see, now the Predator Volley, it doesn't change your total DPS. But it does sort of make it so they f have to like focus. They're like firing one shot at a time instead of burst. In my opinion, it's not that great. You can invest in something a bit better for that slot. There goes another hailstorm. He doesn't have any counter these for these aircraft. Though granted, I just realized something. Look at all this base he has down here. His economy must be insane, in fact, at this point. But there's just so many scythes for his opponent. He has 11. Oh, we actually upgrades the arm to 10, not to 6, so that's a lot of armor. Means you're going to have to get these predators will only do like a four damage per shot or six six damage per shot. They have weapon penetration of six. Wipes out the entire force. He just he should just recall that force or to only send the ones with bombs left to actually go over and bomb. Looks like he used up to place down another extractor, get vision for it. But these Stratus, they're doing more damage than they should, because they're an unarmed scout. He just put a sense. He just put jury rigged the sense of mind to explode. And this force here should be cleaned up by these predators. Placing the cloud burst on top of the mounts is a good idea, since there's a lot of scythes out, just making them that much more durable. Sites are coming in. They fire a volley onto the wall segment, but the wall segment has so much health. A 
Ooh, nice splash damage pickup. He's wiped out all those predators there. He lost another cloud burst. That's not very good. But this force is nearly out of ammo. He could try hitting a small hub and hopefully he can destroy it. There's two bombs on each. 17 times 2, so that's uh, 34 times it by, what, 11? All map. He just realized his opponent's infrastructure. That means he has production and economy. Actually, he's somehow negative. Perhaps he's building a refinery or five. He has a lot of cloud bursts to deal with any aircraft in this force now. Not cloud burst, scythes. And it looks like uh, they actually focused down a lot of those uh, cloud bursts because they're all grouped up. So now there's not as much AA. Are you Smurf? They're focusing down all the g offensive ground units now. But he's sustaining a lot of damage from these cloud bursts. And just because he had superior engagements for pretty much the entire game, doesn't mean you're going to win because you don't expand enough. Literally, this is what a contain looks like for a beta player against a human, not a goo player. You just have a lot of structures across. You don't stop building. Negative. I had heaps of eco. Well, this is the end of the replay. This is Lord A. John saying thank you for watching and signing off. Once this replay actually ends, right about now.